Hello everyone, it's Karen Wolf here in uh, the art studio uh, at my house. <laughs> I'm not in the art studio, of course, uh, in uh, town, in Fairplane. Um, I'm here at home this evening and wanted to come on here and just um, paint a little, um, just a simple little easy mushroom. Hey Donna, um, just something easy. Um, I would think probably kids could do this um, and adults, uh, just something fun. Hey, Sarah, um, but welcome to everyone. Uh, if you just say hi as you uh, jump on here so I can see uh, see who's on here, that'd be great. Um, sometimes I don't, uh, I can't see who's on here. I uh, hope you guys are having a, a good day. Um, it's been a crazy day, a little snowy and all that. So I um, hope everybody's power's on and all. Um, I know that's, that hasn't uh, probably been the funnest thing about the day, but uh, we were out of power this morning, but it's back on, and um, I just, I'm very thankful for those who are out there uh, working on that, getting the power back on for us, so um, yay for those people, so my son is one of those, so, um, but I'm just going to um, just start in here real quick with the mushroom, I'm just going to draw just a, in here my, my horizon line there, See if y'all can see. <clears throat> Sometimes I don't get it in close enough to where you can see what I'm doing. If that will quit falling. I don't think you can see that. Um, just going to sketch in a little mushroom shape. And come down here. Just that, get a little door. This could be a little door for a little something living in there. I don't know, use your imagination. There's a lot of people that are into the the fairies and things. Uh, trolls, fairies, butterflies, the whole bit. Just that kind of stuff, fun stuff. This comes down a little bit farther, so we're just gonna go down a little bit farther with that. There. Have that off a little bit. It doesn't have to be exact. Just a similar shape's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. So um, it can be um, whatever your heart desires. You are the painter. So um, just going with some colors I had down here on a plate in my studio. Just uh, white. I uh, have some burn umber, red, green, some yellow, blue and purple. I think that's all I used. So just grabbing some of those colors here. We'll go into the sky. Going to do some blue. And I hope I don't lose service or anything. Hey Sandy. Hey Susan. Hey Tammy. Um, yeah, I just hope I don't lose uh, any service or anything like that. Uh, down here in the studio. This is backwards because I have that thing going on. So um, <laughs> always some technical, sometimes technical difficulties, but we, we usually work through them somehow or another. So I'm going to set that down there while I hold this. I'm just going around the back, uh, around the out, ugh, I can't even speak, around the outside edge with my one inch flat, getting some, uh, blue and white. Just going around the outside edge. As I go in, I'm just going to add a little bit more white just to lighten this up a little bit as I go towards the, the mushroom. Now, you can paint this whole entire background in. You can paint this whole thing back here in if you want to. Um, and then draw the mushroom on in front of it. Um, doesn't matter. Either way, whatever works for you is fine. Um, just don't make everything all you know, smooth and whatnot. Leave some of the variations in the color there. That makes it more interesting and prettier. Just make sure you get color on. Like that. So, got a lot of stuff, fun stuff going on in the studio. Got a couple painting parties coming up this weekend. And I've got some new, I got a new video on the 
online stuff. I got a new one on there, a chickadee, a springtime chickadee. That one was cute. I hope you guys have seen it. <clears throat> I got it on the online tutorials and posted it to see if there was any interest to have it in the online or studio. We'll see what people say about that one. That one's fun. But this is just something just cute, just fun, just something to paint, just to give you an idea of what I do um, in the studio, uh, what we do in the art studio uh, for the painting parties, and what, we, what I do online. So, there, I'm just going around the bottom with some green went into some green and a little bit of blue. Uh, I didn't, I just didn't even clean my brush and I came down here to put in some green and some blues. And then I'm gonna just do green, not even, I haven't even cleaned my brush yet. I'm gonna go into some green and go up higher with some green and a little bit of white. Just adding some green and white to my brush just to get in this area right here where the grasses are. So right now I'm just getting in some shapes. Just getting in some shapes. So, hey Amanda. Welcome, welcome. Y'all let me know where you're from if you don't mind. Say hi when you jump on. That's great. I appreciate y'all whenever you do that. I can see who's on here painting with me. This would be a fun little easy one just to for fun painting projects sometimes you have to do the ones for fun if y'all have any ideas for things to paint too let me know a lot of times i just threw this together this evening i went through my sketchbook i have a a sketch pad that i have i'm just rinsing my brush right now trying to get all this crazy paint out of there clarksburg oh my gosh did y'all get snow a lot of snow clarksburg way we got um uh today we had about four inches i think hey debbie welcome um yeah, the ice. Woo wee That's what scared me, is that crazy ice. I don't like, uh, the older I get, the more that scares me. I'm, I don't like that very well. <laughs> so, yeah, tons of snow, I bet. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, my son's still out there in it. He works for AP. He's still out there restoring power, bless his heart. Uh, he was up real early this morning and had to uh, dig his way out. So, I'm going to get ready to paint in the flower here. What do I do with my paint? Oh, it's back here. Um, go. I'm going to go into the red. Uh, I'll have to get me some more red. That red had blue in it. Didn't have a very clean, didn't have a very clean plate, did I? Tons of snow. I tell you, tis the season, I suppose. That's the way it is this time of year. I understand we're supposed to get some more of it next week, so yucky. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Uh, as you all can see from what I'm painting here, I am ready. I had to put me some more red on my plate that was clean, guys. This this just wasn't on my plate. It had some blue in it. So I'm just going to make my uh, shape of my mushroom here. Just painting it in with my one inch. I did rinse my brush, cleaned it, and dried it with a paper towel. Now I'm just going into some red. Red, red, red. And I don't know what color red this is. Yeah, I'm ready for beach time too. I'm I'm ready for um, spring and summer and have been for some time now. Um, the way I do is um, I'm one snow and I'm ready for spring. So one snow and I'm ready for spring. So I'm going to be painting some spring stuff coming. You guys just will get ready for that. I have some really cute things coming up um, here pretty soon. I'm just going to make that kind of go out there. don't matter. Um, I've got some uh, spring flowers. There's one, like I said, the chickadees on there. Some spring flowers and the chickadee. Red's real transparent, so it's hard to cover. So it'll take a little while to get that covered. And I'm just now noticing that every time I rinse my brush, that shakes my my phone. I apologize for that. I'll try not to be so pouncing that down in there real hard. This down here we're going to do with some umber. Just go into some umber. 
in here for the little bottom of this. See, this is real easy so far. It's just shapes. All it is is shapes. You just put in, paint in shapes, paint in some shapes. Then you do the value, you know, make sure your values and stuff are correct. And then you just put in layers of paint to get it darker and darker. So, no big deal. Then I'm going to go into some white with that dirty brush. I'm not even cleaning my brush. I'm just going into some white on that brush. So, I've got um, my free cupcake uh, tutorial out there for uh, you all. If you're interested in that free um, free video, I've got a free cupcake tutorial. Um, just comment down, uh, down in the comments below if y'all haven't seen that. I'll give you the free um, free video I have going for the a cupcake. Um, I should get on here and paint a little bit of it sometime and show it to you. Um, but it's a free, it's free. Just type in free down in the bottom and I'll, I'll type in the link for you for the cupcake. And you can have the cupcake video. It's pretty cool. Um... And then I have a free video for a, a um, kids painting too. Um, the free, um, what is it? Hot air balloon. Yeah. So if you want the free balloon, say free cupcake or free balloon. How about that? Or free both. <laughs> you can get a free video. There you go. That's always fun. Everybody likes free stuff. I know I do. All right. So I'm just going to go back in. Is this dry? It's probably not dry. I'm just going to go back in and just darken this a little bit again. Going into the green and the blue. That blue just darkens that green a little bit. Just painting that in. Green and blue. Just darken that a little bit. And then I'm going to go into that. I didn't even rinse my brush. I just went into some white, get some white on that green and blue, went into the blue or went into the green a little bit more. I'm just going in here for some coverage. Just tossing in some coverage there. Just lightening this up a little bit as I go back. And then I'm gonna go into even a little bit more white. I have to get some more white out. And then I'm gonna lighten this a little bit in here. In front of the mushroom a little bit, and then over in here, and then over here. Looks like I got a little bit of, of brown in there. I must have had some brown on my brush. do that sometimes, too. So, All right. Rinsing my brush again, drying it with paper towel. I also have the... A um, couple other things going on. The online tutorial coming up. The live... Uh, painting, not online tutorial, but the live painting party. That'll be fun. We'll be posting some more about it soon. That's the, uh, just going in with this, some more red, the cactus. That'll be fun. So. But don't be afraid to try this, guys. This is easy stuff. This is easy. I've got lots of, lots and lots of paintings to choose from. You've got, you can go out on my Facebook there in the videos. You can paint a lot of, there's a lot of videos there you can paint. You can, um, you can do them. Just don't be, just don't be afraid. Don't let fear get you. And I just added a little bit of white to that. Don't let fear get you. Because you can do this. I mean, if I can do it, anybody can. There was a time I couldn't do it. I just tried it. And now I can do it. So there. That's the way it is with anything. You gotta try. You gotta try, and then you gotta do it, and then you gotta practice. <laughs> right? Alrighty, rinsing my brush again. Rinse, rinse, rinse. 
Okay, now I'm going to go back down here and I'm going to um, do some more on the um, mushroom down here. Just going to paint in the mushroom some more. This paint that I'm using is acrylic and um, the thing that it, um, this acrylic that I'm using is the student grade paint. It's, it's, um, doesn't have a, a lot of pigment in it, so it's hard to get it to cover. That's why uh, it's taken me a little bit of time to get this going. I just added a little bit of white to that brown. Just added a little bit of white to that brown just to lighten that side of the door. Got a little bit too much white on my brush. I'm going to pull some of that dark down through the door. Hey, Tammy. Hello, hello. Welcome. All right, then I'm going to probably have to get a, get off of that for a little bit until that dries. This is a weirdest one inch. Just get off of that door a little bit and let that, I'm going to let that dry some. That's a little bit too wet. And then I'm going to switch to a half inch flat. So, so far, I've just used a one inch. Now, I'm going to switch to a half inch flat. I'm going to do some grass. I'm going to go into the green and the blue. And I'm just mixing some green and some blue here, just making a dark green. Just making a dark green, and I'm just going to get my brush just real sharp there. And I'm just going to pull up some grass. Pull up some grasses. Kind of went a little crazy on my grasses there. Got a little extra, couple extra, <laughs> didn't I? You can put in as many as you want. Doesn't matter. Pull them up taller there, down low. Doesn't matter. And then I'll put a little couple in front of here. Just make it look like there's some, some grass coming up there. And then I'm going to pull some grasses up down here a little bit in the front. And mix them on up like that. Up into that light. And that throws that See how that throws that uh, mushroom back a little when you put the dark grasses in the front. All right. Isn't that fun? Fun, fun, fun. All right. Now we're going to do some more. Uh, hopefully this is dried a little bit. Do a little bit of light down through here just to make it look like there's a door there. Rinse my brush. I'm going to go into a little bit of this dry. It's not drying very quickly on me. It's not drying very quickly. Sometimes you have to get the hair dryer and blow it with the hair dryer. If it doesn't dry, that works. So, hey Karen. Welcome. But if you guys, like I said, if you're interested in that free cupcake or that uh, free, um, I dropped my paintbrush. If you're interested in a free painting tutorial of the cupcake or the hot air balloon for the kids, um, just comment uh, free cupcake or free balloon in the comments and I'll um, get you guys the video for those. I'll um, get you the link for the those so you can... Uh, all you do is you just, you'll get it in an email and um, you just go on and I need my brown. I need to get that white off my brush. So I'm going to go into the brown. Now that this side is a little bit more dry, I'm just going to 
put in some brown over here. Should really dry that because it is not sticking. I'm gonna dry that with the hair dryer. If I can find my hair dryer, what did I do? Hair dryer. Okay, guys. Oh, there it is. Ha! Huh. I put it back here so it would be back here whenever I needed it. Huh. How about that? It was right where it was supposed to be. Oh no! Power out. Okay, here we go. Don't run a heater and a hair dryer at the same time. I'll be right back. <laughs> Crazy. Sorry about that, guys. Technical difficulties. Gosh, can't even see. Okay, Now my hair dryer is running. Great day in the morning. Okay, back. <laughs> that was the craziest thing. That has not happened. That is a first. That has never happened before. All right, now we were trying to get this dry. heater in here where it's been so cold <laughs> oh shoot hey Olivia I have a heater in here where it's so cold and I had it running and then I turned the hairdryer on and then it that's what happened so I'm just trying to get that and that's not dry so we'll move on to something else um but uh, sorry for that sorry for that sorry for that but you will have that real life here real life in the art studio all right then we're going to go in and do some circles on the mushrooms <laughs> oh gee i couldn't find which one that was popped the breaker that was popped and uh, my husband had to come downstairs and help me i just couldn't find it i couldn't see it and of course he looked at it for two seconds and one second and there it was so so I'm just putting in these shapes. I'm just looking over here at this one and I'm just putting in some mushroom circles. And they don't have to be anything fabulous. It's just a cute little thing. I was gonna do um, a little Valentine one, but um, since it's almost Valentine's Day, but I thought, well, no, I've been doing a bunch of Valentine's stuff. You guys are probably tired of Valentine's. And then I was going to do one with a, like an umbrella, since yesterday was National Umbrella Day. And I thought, no, I couldn't come up with anything. So, then I just decided, I went through my book, and I saw this one. I sketch in my book. My, I have a sketchbook. I draw stuff in all the time. I get ideas and then I'll draw in there. And, uh, hey, Audrey. And then I, uh, thank you all for coming on here. I appreciate you guys. Um, but I sketch in my book, my 
sketchbook. I'll, I'll come up with full ideas of things and just sketch them out and draw this, that, or the other. And then whenever I have time, I'll come down here in the art studio and I'll paint. And sometimes, you know, if you come up with an idea, you jot it down. That's why I, you know, sketch it out. So whenever I have time to paint it, I have some things to choose from because that's the hardest part is trying to decide what to paint. What do you all want to, me to paint? You all need to tell me. I, for the painting parties, it's hard for me to come up with ideas. And then for in here, it's hard for me to come up with ideas. So if y'all have any ideas, put them down in the comments. I sure do appreciate that. So it's always, uh, let me a drink of water. It's always hard. It's like, I guess, like when writers write and have writer's block, I have painter's block. And I'm thirsty because I haven't hardly drank any water today at all. Okay, so I've got the butterfly, um, or butterfly. I looked at the butterfly over there. I've got the um, that in. I lightened this side a little bit of the mushroom, and then I tried to keep this side more on the dark side, and it didn't get as much coverage. I'm just going to put some more back in there. There we go with that. And then that's the darker side, and this is the lighter side. We'll give it a little doorknob. Just a little... Touched with brown was the doorknob. And I got the grasses in. We'll put a couple more light grasses in the front if you want. I'm just taking that green, a little bit of green and some white, and you can kind of touch in some lighter grasses. Is a good idea. Just some green, some white in front of these darker grasses here. You can come down here and put in a few if you want of those, even. I don't think I did over there that, but you can. Just touch in some grasses here and there. Just, whoop. And uh, you can do whatever you want to with this. I mean, sky's the limit, guys. You can, you can do whatever comes to your mind, your imagination. And then the butterfly... Uh, up here and you can paint it whatever color you want. I just chose red and white. Do not know why I just did I just visualized that in my head and thought that would be a good idea So then the butterfly you can make it whatever color you want and all I did was made um, I took my brush got it into the purple and white made a chisel edge and then make a line down for the butterfly and then the butterfly has the little antennas and I just made that its body. And it's just a line with two little things coming out from it. And then I pulled up for the wing there. And then pulled up on this side for the wing over here. So you have a butterfly. And you can make it as fat or skinny or whatever it, that you want. And you make it whatever color that you want. <clears throat> I can't believe I had the power outage. That was so funny. I kind of kind of got him a little big there, trying to make that stretch that out a little bit. And I'm just going to shave it off there with my brush, kind of lighten it a little bit, make it so it's not so fat right there. And then you can add a little bit of white to it if you want. Purple and white. Just kind of put some different colors there in the, um, I'm about to call it petals, in the uh, wings. And then you can take some more white, since this is dried, you can cover these a little bit more just to get some more coverage. Just go over those with a little bit more white, just to cover. And this is just a little whimsical painting. It's it's not. It's not real. It's just a, for fun. Okay, so don't don't get too tore up over 
that stuff it doesn't look real. Well, it's not real. <laughs> it's pretend. Hey, Leslie. Hello, hello. Thank you all for coming on and watching. I appreciate you guys. All right. I think we got it. And then, I mean, you could do, you could put like the little, um, you know, a little fairy or something um, sitting there on the um, thing, sitting on the mushroom or whatever. I think those are popular. The little fairies and gnomes and things that people like. Right, Leslie? The gnomes and things. You all say hi when you get on here. I appreciate it. Say hi and let me know where you're from. That way we know, that way I know how far I'm reaching out there. And then we'll take some more brown and just pop in this little, on that little door. I don't think that's it, guys. Oh, no, the flowers. Gotta do the flowers. Hey, Christina. All right, flowers, flowers. See, I just added some yellows and some purple flowers, and you can do that with, um, I think I just did it with my half-inch flat. I just went into some yellow color. Got a little bit of white on here. I <laughs> turned my heater off now, I'm freezing. Can't run a heater and a hair dryer at the same time or you end up with a power outage or a pop breaker. So I'm just taking that and just popping in the, just like there's some little tiny, little, uh, yellow flowers in here and I'm just touch 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 nothing fancy and then I'm gonna go into a little bit of white that's not even on this we'll go into a little bit of white and just touch 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 and you can make those you don't have to keep them down low you can go up high with those you can come up way if you want to come up here with them you can come up here with them it doesn't matter I just I just put them down low just because, I mean, I came down here a while ago and painted this thing like in no time just to have something to show you guys to paint. Because, it, like I said, I have no idea sometimes what I'm going to do. No idea what to paint until I get down here. And then I'll start thinking about it. Actually, I do think about it during the day. And I'm like, what am I going to paint? What am I going to paint? I don't know. It's the hardest thing. But we'll put some purples and some yellows. Just dob some pretty little flowers in there. You can do whatever you want to. You can put some down here if you want. You can do whatever you want. So put in some purple and some white. And then some more purple and add some more white. And just touch in a little white. And my butterfly looks like it's has uh, loose there. But like I said, you can paint your butterfly whatever color you want. You can paint your mushrooms whatever color you want. You want it doesn't matter. Um, that's uh, that's all completely up to uh, up to you all. And I think that's it. I think we got it. Hey, Sandy, welcome. So I think there we go. All right, cool. That was fun. That was a really fun one. Um, if you all, like I said, if you're interested in that video, either one of the cupcake or the um, uh, hot air balloon for the kids, I've got a cupcake, a free one, a free cupcake and a free hot air balloon video. If you're interested in either one of those, just comment down below. Just tell me. Uh, you want the free uh, cupcake or the free hot air balloon, or maybe you want both. So just then just put free both, or just put both. Doesn't matter. So, and I'll just uh, send those right to you. Or I'll put the link in there for you, and you click on the link, and there you go. I can't get that dark enough to show up. 
I need to paint the church again, I guess. I had painted a church on here a couple weeks ago. I don't know when that was. A couple weeks ago. and uh, Or maybe it was a week ago. I don't remember. I've never had so much trouble signing my name in all my life. This paintbrush is dried out. And uh, my hair was in the way. The whole time my hair was in the way. Uh, I hope my hair wasn't in the way this evening. But I was trying to set my studio up here at the at the house so I could record videos. And um, the whole time I would turn and my hair would fall in the way. <laughs> and no one told me. <laughs> if ever I'm painting and my hair's in the way, say, your hair's in the way, crazy painting lady. Say, your hair's in the way. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining. I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed this um, video this evening. Painting with me. Um, gosh, I can't get that thing to move. It's just stuck. Uh, it was it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Um, I'll be back on here again, of course. Um, as I always am, I'll be back on here again and uh, paint with you. Y'all watch for my videos. Watch for uh, my posts for my parties and stuff. If you're interested in attending the in-studio parties or um, the virtual, if, you, if you're interested in any of those. I've got lots of ways you can paint with me. So, anyhow, y'all have a good one. Uh, stay warm, take care, and God bless you all, and I'll see you back on here again sometime soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.